What's up, NBC Chicago? It's Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. So I didn't know, I was invited to be a part of the show first. I didn't know it was going to be a four-way. Um, I was actually in the parking lot of uh, PWG. No, not PWG. I was in the park. It was an indie. It was an indie show in California, and I was with the Bucks and Cody, mm-hmm. and we. I had already like expressed my interest. At that point, every indie wrestler ever had to express their interest in wanting to be a part of All In because it was the coolest thing ever. It was somewhat like indie wrestling was going to actually do a, an arena show. Right. That's unheard of. Right. Nobody, there, nobody thought it was going to happen. And then once we saw like, oh shit, this is going to happen. I wanted to be a part of that, and that's kind of when they were like. They, they very, very, the Bucks were like, Britt, you're all in. That's it. And I, it was like, okay, cool. And then we just, we got the info slowly about like who else was going to be in it. And you could, you, you, we kind of guessed because it'd be like, oh, she's all in, she's all in. And then there was four of us and then it was a four way. And um, that was one of the most special nights of my life because it, it really changed my career forever. I hope, I mean, you always hope, you always hope that you're part of a spark for something, but I would have never guessed in a million years that there was a billionaire sitting in the crowd that was also a massive wrestling fan and had all these ties to mainstream TV and entertainment and was going to make a company and ask me to be his first female side. No, that wasn't in my, my bingo card. It was, it was just as special in its own way because it was the first of the first. And again, it was, it was making history and it was, it, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So there was a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. Pressure. and uh, it was still we were still in the unknown waters we didn't know where this was going to go we didn't have a tv deal yet or if we did we didn't know about it talent didn't know about it um and we kind of really were just no you know pun, no pun intended all in on this thing called all elite wrestling we're like hey i hope i hope this works out because we're all giving us we're giving our all to this that i will never i don't know that that can ever be topped just because it was such a wow we we did this moment and the people that were part of the first all in, I think we all have, will always have a special bond. That the ones that also were able to wrestle at Wembley, um, because it to think that we we did this, like we helped create this mega monster where we just sold over eighty five thousand tickets or whatever the number was in in Wembley. That's right. insane. That's that's unheard of. And if you would have told me that at the first all in, I would have laughed and said you're you're nuts, you're crazy. But it was it was very pivotal, and I think. No matter no matter what, that's always going to be a top moment. And I and I didn't even, I didn't win, um, I didn't lose either. But I, I I think that's one of my favorite moments of my career. Yeah. So Chicago is a huge wrestling town, and you learn that very quickly when you you get to cross over to to come to the Indies to come to the Chicago territory. There are maybe the most rowdy fans in 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 America, and I. I think it's when you when you get to those areas where the fans are that passionate, where they love who they love, they hate who they hate. That's what's fun. That's what makes the shows fun. We want everyone to be having a good time, and it crosses over in, into the, the television wrestling too. Chicago is incredible, and I think the fact that we keep coming back so often speaks for that. Like we we keep giving Chicago more and more because they give us more. I do. I like the. I I, I said this earlier. I like the pizza, but I'm one and done. One slice, and then. That's enough. I I love going to Navy Pier and walking around. I don't really have like a memory that's like that, that's that's the moment. But I I love anytime we have a day off, just walking up and down there. It was actually when I started dental school, which was 2014. Yeah, 2014 um, is when I started training to also be a professional wrestler, and it was it was I was already accepted into dental school. I started training to be a wrestler um, just out of curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat, and I was not going to let it kill my dental career. And I just decided I was going to keep training and keep going to school and hope and pray that it worked out. And that that's what happened. I 